As you can see, I'm a woman of the world. But where in the world are we? Right here, the centre of Australia. Uluru is Australia's belly button, really. The biggest outie on the planet. It's our most celebrated natural landmark, besides Hugh Jackman's pectorals and Kylie Minogue's posterior. Clearly, you don't have to go overseas to be overawed. Uluru gives new meaning to rock star. It's the most famous rock in the world. A kangaroo hop, skip and jump from Alice Springs and you can discover it for yourself. Or you could sign up for Scenic's 11-day Territory Explorer, which journeys through the heart and top end of Australia's frontier country. And you'll do it all in comfort style and on personally tailored tours, like this morning sunrise experience. So, Lockie, not many things could get me up at this hour in the morning. Well, you, because you're a love god. And that. <laughs> it's so what, why, why does everyone get up so early to experience this? It's a, a lovely, peaceful moment out here in the middle of Australia, yeah. and people come to see the colours changing at Uluru. Yeah. It's a bit like, you know, Mother, Na Mother Nature's version of the Louvre. I mean, the colours are amazing. It's easy to just lose yourself in this living art gallery with Uluru's geographical marvel as its sensational centrepiece. What we now call Uluru originally sat at the bottom of the sea, but today looms 348 metres above the ground. Incredibly, over two kilometres of the bulk is underground. So, like me, this place has hidden depths. Well, it's a, it's a giant sedimentary rock, so what happened was there was a, an uplift after a sedimentary deposit. There was an inland sea, which sort of compacted it, and then it baked a little bit. And then it got pushed up, and that's where we see the formation today. So this was the sea? Yes, inland sea in the centre of Australia. So it should be sort of... We would have once been <laughs> swimming you around could have it. Been, yeah, in here, okay. exactly. Australia, founded as the world's largest open prison, began with an act of theft. Aboriginals were afforded no more rights than the kangaroos, but traditional ownership of the rock has finally been restored. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, well, <laughs> Thank you. Well, come and show me round. Oh, so, Sammy, how how long have your mob lived here? Oh, I've been there for four years. I think, and how long have we got? We got the family in here for four generations. Four generations. Yeah. So this is oh. like like this rock's like family to you. Yeah, yeah. Up close, the rock is a living museum of indigenous heritage. So, Lockie, tell me about, about your take on all of this. So this is the, the family cave. So it's mm. called Kulpi Mutajulu. And it's where the family could gather. And they use the, the rock art here as sort of like a classroom. Mm. The art we see, the symbols we see, as telling a story. So this was like Uluru University. <laughs> yeah. You could say, exactly. The temperature starts to drop below steaming point and the sun shimmers towards the horizon. We're off on Uluru's signature sounds of silence experience. First stop, bubbles and canapes. So what, what drew you to the red centre? We just think it's important to see our own country as well. We've done our overseas thing. Exactly. Yeah, important Australian icon that we um, wanted to come visit. We're quite spiritual girls and I think that um, yeah, we find a real connection with nature and the outdoors, so it's, it's perfect. Fun to glamorise. Yeah, I know. <laughs> We're getting back to nature. We're drinking a grape, for God's sake. Yeah. Here's to nature. <laughs> Now, the term bush tucker might evoke ideas of nibbling on a roo poo pellet in a witchy grub sauce, but the opposite is true. This is fine dining, outback style. The Sounds of Silence dinner, indigenous dance performance and stargazing tour is a standard offering with scenic. So, obviously, one of the reasons this is the best place to see this night sky is that there's the nearest town is 500 miles away. There is no light yeah. pollution. Yep, so you literally have 180 degree field of view. So you're seeing star horizon all the way over the star horizon. It is so big and beautiful. But how dark we are is the other thing. So we're lucky in the southern hemisphere because up in this area that you see right here, we actually have more stars there. So that's our part of the sky compared to the northern. And it turns out with that area of the sky, we actually have more stars than what the Northern Hemisphere people do. Our sky is so big, bright, and 
and the best in the world.